Hi, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to show you a brand new 2022 model from Fleetwood, the Fleetwood Frontier Model 36 SS, or Super Sport. All right, here is the color we're looking at today. This is a paint scheme called Iron Man. All right, you see a lovely cap right here. This is where the generator is. These are painted mirrors with integrated side cameras. We're at the, actually at the National Indoor RV Centers. These Michelin's. These are Michelin 275-80R 22.5. All right, here's the interior TV with soundbar. This actually does come out and swivel. The sound bar is up behind the TV set. And here are the two remote controls. Now down below is one of our first storage areas here. Now here we have our vacuum parts and our two extra chairs stored here. So that's, that's how tall it is. Good place to put your chairs. Now this is a very large storage bay. This has a slide out tray. And this is actually an optional item. Uh, we also have the ladder stored here for the rear ladder extension and the bunk bed, the overhead bunk uh, for the ladder for the overhead bunk. Yeah. Now, you go through to the other side, dear. Let me just do one thing real quick. Keep it rolling. Okay. Uh, cargo bay. Little cargo lights in there to help. It goes straight through the other side. It comes out on the other side. Now, we can go ahead and we can pull this out, show on one side. Oh, all the way out. Well, what's that? Five or six feet wide? That's quite wide. Right? So, well, yeah, it's, it's pretty wide. Let me just take the tape measure real quick. In the meantime, if you want to know the weather here in Atlanta, Hopefully you can see the weather in Atlanta. Alright, Ben has got the tape measure and we're going to see how wide this tray is. It's 51 inches wide. Okay. Now, the way you release this is you pull this little lever, yellow lever here. And that allows you to slide it back in. Alright, always close that door first. And then this door. One thing I'm not particularly crazy about this particular model is the fact that these are fiberglass doors, not aluminum slam doors, but they, they work very effectively. Now, this is another storage area. You, you can put another uh, Mori tray here if you want to, but Fleetwood does not or, uh, offer this as an option. And this is also, for the record, this is a custom raised rail chassis from uh, Fleet, uh, Freightliner. So this is not a straight rail chassis. You can see there's a good, let's see, how much room we have between the rail and the storeboard here. Right. We have a good 18 inches of clearance. And this also goes all the way through to the other side. Yes, it does. Now there's a smaller storage area coming up here. This one is very pretty big. This is yeah, the dirt devil. This is the uh, it's about 18 inches deep, and this is inside about almost 35 inches. So we have your, this is the central vacuum. Back here is your dryer vent, and this is the V-Ride system that helps make the coach very stable going down the road. And our initial drives on this coach, it was very, very smooth. Here we have our 2000 watt magnum inverter. And this area is our electronics bay. There's another cutoff here. There's two cutoffs. One's to cut off the inverter, one's to cut off the power. Here's our Joboni uh, M -M MPPT uh, solar charge controller. It says it's a 30 amp. So right now, I think the specs say 250, but I've also heard 300 watt solar panel on the roof. Whether we get up to the roof, that's another story. And what is this down here, dear? That's your exhaust. Okay. Uh, 
And here, oh, there's some here having a having dress. A little paint defect right here in this coach. And here is an additional storage area here. And this is the hydraulic tank for the leveling jets. And you see that's part of the exhaust coming yeah, out Yes, there. I see that going out. That's how they manage the emissions on the new coach with the... With the uh, oh, that's quite a big pipe on the back of it. There's a very big tail. Here's the... You know, in the back. the back of it here. Let me back and up here for a minute. Just show right. what the engine department. Okay, I'm back the up. Okay, it's not allowed here. You should check your airflow, the oil, transmission oil, engine oil, fill up. This is your dipstick, your coolant overflow. You see here, it's 340 horsepower. That's the R chassis. And what is the Freedom Sport? What does that mean? Freedom Sport, that's the chassis. Okay, okay. That's the uh, Freightliner chassis. Okay. Now, they say it basically has got a, a 10,000 pound hitch, but it's more likely to do about seven or 8,000 after you have it loaded uh, and full of water and everything. I like the way they've written Frontier on the back with a little um, star bring, bring it back in the middle. I'm going to bring it back and try to get the whole picture in. Yeah, bring it over here. Watch. Keep going. Get the whole thing in the back there. There you go. Okay. Alright, so this is... And I love, the, I love the paint scheme. I see like two eyes up there and an eyebrow. I almost see like a face in that paint. Well, over here. Okay. This is your engine air intake. Here are the uh, house batteries. These are six volt batteries. There's four of them. Uh, that's apparently the, the air cleaner assembly right there and that silver thing, that's what they said. Wait, what? Uh, here is our power shore reel and the two chassis batteries. Are, those are 12 volt. Is that an electric reel? That's, well, it's manual out, but power in. Okay. Uh, here is your def tank that you fill up apparently every three or four tank fulls, depending on consumption. There we go. See why? Sure. Uh, still, this coach is still relatively new, so there are some little things that are a little stiff. Now this is the wet, uh, the wet bay, and with Fleetwood's exclusive wedge block design. Now mind you, the Holiday Rambler. I guess the wedge block is, is exclusive to all Rev RV products. Um, what you see here, we have the outside shower. Uh, more than likely, we're going to probably take this and add a real shower head to it uh, that we could probably mount on the side there. But here's your hot water, cold water drain, bypass, Santa flush filling for your black tank, and your city water connection, as well as a whole house water filter. Now. We're probably, it comes with a stinky, slinky, whatever, uh, and a section of water, fresh water hose, but we're probably not going to use that since we have some already from our previous coach. These right here are the, the other, other side. side of the storage bays here. Okay. You see here. You see here. Beautiful in here. And is yeah. this open from this side too? This, this is the tray? Oh yes, yes. Okay. Uh, it's interesting to note that the cargo lights are all can be switched off individually, but there's one central control uh, inside as well as on the uh, the app, the Precision Circuits app. Now, this is another reason why we like this model. It has an awkward hydronic 50D system for providing not only hot water but heat for the coach. Here is the other side of the fuel filler. We have it on both sides. And here is your windshield washer fluid as well as you can hook up an airline here for filling your tires and whatnot. And then also for putting tools and whatnot, I love small storage area. Below right here, this is your generator exhaust. And this is your aqua hot Right now, you're actually hearing the aqua hot run at whatever frequency. Here is the other side of the mirror. Okay. Generator exhaust. Okay. Here's your 
area is behind here. We're not going to open that up. We'll probably have that opened up on another video. Uh, now we're ready to go inside. All right, so come on inside. Oh, to the left, right up here. Can I mention one? Oh, sorry. I was going to mention one thing I do not like is this step. first step inside. It's a little short. If you see my foot there, it's just kind of a little short. I just want to point out, here's your battery disconnect switches here. This is your step cover switch. And these are initially, you can turn all lights on, entry step, porch lights, etc. right here. Uh, when you come in the coach, on the seats. Uh, let's see, the seats are very comfortable. Uh, and this actually one part here, this actually, this part reclines all the way out to there. So you know what I'll be doing when I'm in ways driving, folks. Now, uh, come on in. We'll just show you a really quick high view of the electronics here. Um, close that door, sure. Oh, I need background noise. Now, up here real quick. These are your bypass switches uh, in case for some reason your um, touch string panel is not working correctly. You can actually operate the awnings and the slides this way. Here's your LCI electronic leveling and your magnum inverter control. Behind you, here's our TV, first of our TVs here. And here we have a Wi-Fi Ranger on this side. There's your antenna booster uh, on this side. We actually have a team uh, LTE cell phone booster, as well as this is your TV lockout, so you can't use the, the TV here when you're going down the road, which makes it, who would do that? Uh, you can't see it up here, but there's a little cubby up here. It's accessible when the drop down bunt here is down. Now, apologize for the black screens there. We've shut the uh, nightshades because there's a lot of traffic going on here at the dealership. Here is our Here's basically our, um, here's our mobile eye collision, collision mitigation system. And here's our little digital dash right here. Really cool. Yes. We'll get more details about this in an upcoming video. Uh, here we have our little, this is our cameras here. And here's to see basically you can toggle through here, different modes, different display modes, if you, how you want to look at it. Um, I'm probably going to keep it on the version uh, with the camera like that. Uh, but here's the radio here. Here's basically the shade control, the utility light. This is actually shows when you open up the generator bay. Uh, auxiliary start, which basically powers your, your starting batteries via the channel. It basically gives you extra power in case your chassis batteries are dead. There's the generator switch some USB ports right here, right there. Uh, this is your radio set for travel or for park. So that way, when you're going down the road, you're not using your house batteries, you can switch it using your chassis batteries. And this is your keyless entry, which will basically lock your door right from the switch or from the little fob that is right here. There's a little key fob here. Okay. Now, um, we have the mirror control here, as well as I believe this is the control for the heated mirrors. We have a little storage down below here, and both seats are power. Now, uh, one thing we want to show, another feature we really like about this coach, uh, it's not a total of four dinette seats, but two are here, two are folded up in the bay, as we showed earlier. But this is the, the uh, multi-purpose table from Fleetwood. It just comes out this far, and then you take a squeeze in the middle here, and the whole table swivels. And that will you can either have four people seating for dinner, or you could use it for an L-shaped workstation. Yes. So and basically, it's very multi-purpose. I really like that. Reverse this and. Put it 
back in there and locked in place. I also noticed that it has uh, three different levels. So you put your keyboard, your computer, uh, and then decorations like the Christmas tree and an RV camper. That's pretty neat. Well, right now, I'm going to take over and let Marie show you the, the rest of the retention area. Okay, okay. Well, obviously, right behind the driver's seat here is our refrigerator. Obviously, full residential refrigerator. We put a few things in it, so don't mind. Uh, obviously, we put wine in there, so yeah, what can I say? Well, how big is it? Do you want to measure that refrigerator? It is a wine? regular residential refrigerator, but it is about, uh, let's see here. The inside of it, it looks like it's about 30, 27 inches. How deep? How deep? It is about 20. Oh, good size of Yeah, and it's got all, all adjustable shelves, which is really nice. And then, in addition to that, we have the pull-out freezer. Isn't that awesome? And there's wow. the ice maker, the little tray. It's space there. Yeah, lots of room. I love it. Love it. Okay, we're going to stay on the kitchen side here for a moment. I hope we have a pantry right here, which is really nice. It's a little deeper. It's about, uh, since I've got the roller in my hand, about nine and a half inches uh, depth wide, so you can put whatever there. And you've got three shelves. We have a convection oven. Convection microwave? That would be it, a microwave. And it's got lots of buttons. I'm going to have to read a manual, folks, so I won't tell you how it works. Down here is the induction top uh, stove. Again, lots of buttons. I have not read the manual, but it's beautiful. Love it. Kitchen. So look at this. Look at the counter space, folks. There's a toaster here to give you an how, idea how of deep size. Give it a measure. That's well, it depends. That's on this side, on this side, it's 31 and a half. But if you come over here by the, the sink, you've got 33. Now, what's the total length there? Yeah, let's look for it the other here. Total length here. Is 90 inches. 90 inches. I haven't, I haven't quite finished yet, so let me. Uh, if the the uh, dishes go in here, and this is a pleasant surprise from the pictures. Is we actually have an insert that's uh, frosted. Very nice. I don't know how that's going to come out on camera, but I really like that. We have this lovely gray um, backsplash with a really nice see-through window all the way around and of course it does have a nice shade in there so we're really good there um it does have a farmhouse kitchen <laughs> see well, so plenty of room i like that. that because it's a lot easier to wash how, how big is that what form are you actually it's this, a lot easier to wash crock pots and things like that this is about 20 inches by 13. so Okay, now I'm going to open up some of these cabinets here for you. Well, which one do you want to go, from left to right or right I'm going to left? go from left to right. right. This is a small cabinet, uh, but, you know, something to utilize for sure. Okay. Here is the sink cabinet, which we have some tools in there, temporary, garbage can. Wow, that's a $250 trash can. There you go. And it's very deep, so that's a good size kitchen sink. This one goes all the way to the floor, so this will be good for some more taller things, so I like that. Now look at the number of drawers in this kitchen. Isn't this awesome? We have... How far do those drawers come out? Right to there. Wow, let's see how deep are those here. Those are about 17 inches deep there. Yeah, yeah. So we have two drawers here. This one actually has a sliding um, tray for your utensils for poultry. So there is a little room to put stuff underneath it. You got two more drawers right below it. Basically the same size. And you got one big one on the bottom here. Wow, that's going to be for pots and pans and crock pot, whatever. That's about 24 inches deep by 24 inches wide. And actually, it, one of the nice things, I push on the bottom here and it's not that uh, little plywood. It's pretty solid. Okay, good. Now, what do we got here? We got a couple things here. Push First button. off, I, I know how to do it. First off, we got these really long drawers. Wow, how long are those things? Boy, you like to measure things, don't you? 24 inches by 7 inches. Alright. And so we got three of those. The second wow. one. 
and the third one. So you have some nice, nice space there. And here we go, guys and ladies. This is my pleasure. Wow. We have a pull-out space for extra space That's for your cookies. That's almost as long as the drawers themselves, right? It comes out all the way to 24 inches. I think that is really awesome. So we have a That's really nice, inches. really nice size kitchen. It's 12 inches wide by 24. So it really gives you a good extension of your countertop. Yes, you have. You can be cooking. You can be laying stuff over here. So how do you how do you actually close and open that? Well, there's actually a button that you use. Can you show us? I am. A button right there, right? A little button right there. You just push it in. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you hit all the lock, you know. And you push it in, it locks. Oh, That's great. And you push the button back in, and it'll come back out. Okay, what's next here? Okay. Uh, now, you already uh, showed them the desk and how this works. You can see I have my computer all set up on there now. But this is awesome. There is a four section sofa. Did we actually measure how the length of this one long one wall? We did not. I didn't okay. know we were measuring everything. This is 75 inches long. Okay. Now this sofa I believe is 129 inches long if I remember right from the manual. I love the fact that when you come and sit down it goes all the way out look at this right across from the tv and i think i could just stay here and not finish the film but i guess i have to get up so this is all electric and there are two recliners one on each end and then two seats in the middle and here's our fireplace mm -hmm. which actually has a color changing feature mm -hmm. and right below you can't really see it too well but there is one of the aqua hot uh, registers that produces the heat from the aqua hot and this is yeah it's like a 55 inch tv i think okay and it has a little backlit has little lights above as plus a little nice little led backlight and one more thing i want to mention before we move any farther you saw the uh central vacuum cleaner outside we spent a long time looking for the connection inside with the person showing us and selling us and you need to look underneath the fireplace there's the there's the under here vacuum hose. on the bottom and so it's not on the wall like you would think it's actually underneath the fireplace so well, folks one thing that's need interesting to know that. maybe you want to call it dislike is the fact that it doesn't have a sweeper uh register on the floor for picking up when you're sweeping like most central vacuums have right and if it has one we sure haven't found it so but if it took us long enough to find out we may be surprised later on right now on both sides of the sofa which i told you there's two recliners and two seats there are lift up spaces for your remotes and everything okay now we're going to go in the bedroom and uh show you the bedroom now we forgot one thing what did we forget the half bath we did! And we also forgot the, the candles over here. Okay. We do have candles storage all over. There's four of them above the sofa. So you have extra storage here. And in one of them, we have electrical components. And these are... These are 14 inches deep and about 10 inches high. Okay, and you wanna... And this one here is about the same height, but a little bit shorter. Now this one... This one has the HDMI switch for the TVs here. And you see there's one set of switches for each of the four TVs that are in here. Okay. And we have some paper plates in here to give you an idea of the size there. And right. on to the half bath. Yes, we have a half bath here. Right at, uh, kind of almost across from the couch. And uh, love, love the uh, gray stone finish. And uh, we're going to let Ben step in. There is a cabinet above the toilet. Uh, it's not really any storage in there, that's just the cabinet for the circuit breakers. Okay, and then we got two cabinets on either side of the mirror. Nice corner angled uh, sink. Now it makes you wonder, why didn't they put a corner cabinet here? Look, it's more than enough storage. Here. Yeah, we don't know what's behind here, but it seems they could put the mirror there, but didn't make storage there. A little storage under here. And this has actually got some good storage. You can see we put some toilet paper in there already. Yeah, yeah. Here's the toilet paper holder. holder. And 
Uh, here is the. Uh, I don't see the. <laughs> here is the toilet itself. There we go. See. All right. Now Ben is six foot six. And just for reference, you can see he has plenty of clearance in the bathroom. All right. Let's keep going into the bedroom. Let's okay. see. All right, we have the bed up. It is an adjustable bed. Uh, that's because we have the slides out. You've probably seen enough of these films. You know, it goes up and down. Well, um, it's a generator control there, and is a tilt up. And it's interesting to know that the tilt up is on both sides of the bed as well as the outlets. Okay. And um, the bed is in the up position, but I believe it actually can go down fully when the slide is in. But I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it does go down fully when the slide's in. Okay, now this is very deep. Wow, These cows are like, amazing. This is 28 inches deep. How wide is that? You I believe it was 20. Okay, it is 20 inches. 20 inches now. And about uh, 9, almost 10 high. This isn't quite as wide, but it's the same depth, so these are all... So folks, just to give deep. you an example, I'm nailing on the bed up to the cabinet. You see my arm. I cannot reach the back of this cabinet. So we will definitely have some baskets of some type in here to be able to pull this stuff out. And of course, there's a total of three cabinets like this. That is correct. All the way back here, lined with carpet. And it has a nice, you can't really see much of it, but a nice uh, gray headboard in the back with the beading around it. Very pretty. And of course, a bunch of fancy pillows that probably won't be there when we get done. Now I'd like well. to show you the closets. Now the closets are here. There's two on each side. It's, it's symmetrical. You got two closets and three drawers on each side. There is a shelf up here. Um, we actually took the liberty of moving the hanger up a little bit, usually it's a little more space. Say about two or three inches at least. Yes, because the clothes are dra were dragging on the floor here. So we, and then, you know, Ben being that tall, his clothes were a lot worse than mine. But we did it just that so we could get our clothes in there. There are three drawers also on each side. So you can see that. How big are those drawers? Well, you want to measure one? Can you measure one there? These are about 15 inches. Five, 15 inches. All right, so there's three on each side. This one looks like it might be a little longer. We also, yay, yay, folks, we have a washer and a dryer. Look at there. Ain't that side great? Side side, washer and dryer. How awesome. Now, over here is a little tricky thing. We have a little drawer here. And you see it here, you can put your little jewelry or whatever, or your remote control. Now you saw me, it just looks like a panel. If someone comes along, they might be able to do that. But the interesting thing is this little magic knob. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Let's put it right out on the knob, right where it is, in front of it. Put it here? Yeah. All right. See how it works? It releases it. Uh, but it's not locking now, it's not locked, right? right. It's basically a, that area has to be tight, that knob, the latch has to be tight. So, yes, I think that's on our repair list. But anyway, nobody could open it, and then you'll need this particular thing to open it. Or I, mind it. Yes, we're tight. There are light switches to turn on lights uh, here above the bed. And we have another, is that day and night shades or just night shades? This one is just a night shade, I believe. Yes, this is just a night shade. You might note that some windows have day night shades and some just have the night shades. Yeah, most of the bedroom and I'll just have night shades. What's but behind the TV? It opens from the right side there, by the way. And a little more storage here, a little fuse panel here, and it's just the back of the TV. So, okay, into the master bath. Into the master now, bath. you may not have noticed this, folks, but the floor is totally level. There is no rise in this place. Isn't that amazing? Okay, we have a linen closet, two shelves in there, and in here there were two shelves also, but we took one out because we're going to use this for some bigger storage area. We have our toilet here, our escape window, we have two cabinets, uh, medicine cabinets, not really wide here on the, either side. 
I don't think this opens. Oh, this is the right. On the right. Okay, so it does open. Ah, there we go. And so we have medicine cabinet there. We have a vessel sink. We have some drawers on either side. Again, it's very symmetrical. I'll just open the one side. Storage underneath. And folks, okay, here's the grand thing. You gotta see this. I'm gonna go in here so everybody can film me. This is the shower, and I'm gonna step into it. Okay, look at here. I have a seat. Plenty of space to put whatever toiletries I want. A raised bar shower with a wonderful skylight. Isn't this awesome? I can sit here and shake my legs, ladies. Can't beat that. I am so thrilled about this bathroom. I can even stand inside of it. Okay. I'm sure we missed a few things. Uh, but uh, we're very happy with this coach. There are a few little things that you gotta repair into the new coach, that's to be expected. And uh, we're gonna be transferring our stuff over here for the rest of the day. And uh, like I said, we got some likes, some dislikes. Uh, like I said, the step there, not sure where we're going to put our shoes yet, but we'll do more. We'll do a follow-up video and let you know. In the meantime, let's remember to open the doors to adventures and start your journeys with the, the RV, RV keys. keys.